that's all. And uh, another reminder, uh, next week on Monday we will run this, the, the same cars in the Epic Silverstone 66 truck. So. Yeah, I can see that advertised already next uh, or a week today, obviously Monday evening. The, is it uh, so Silverstone with the same car combination, I believe, the GT40 and the Porsche 908. So we can see those again next a week. Excuse me for a so second. Go for it. Uh, guys, we're five wide. We're going to have cold brakes and no ABS, so just please don't race too hard into the first corner. Yeah, it's a 14 minute race. You want to enjoy at least the majority of those 40 That's minutes and not end up in the wall early on. No, I, I only have go out on me behind me, so... Yes, good luck. Go good luck, guys. Just yet. Go good, luck. good 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 There we go, we're missing the start. Poor camera work there, but now with uh, Yasser Fajit, he is working his way up through the field just a little bit. He's in 12th place. Let's see if we can get onto the leader. There we go. Uh, that is Jeffrey right. Tassanoi. He's still there. He's out in the lead. Trying to get on the second place. He's running wide. That's Giuseppe winning by early on. He might just keep it out on the podium. but that's losing a lot of places. Can he join safely? Yes, he does in the background there. That's very close all there for. Uh, Cold tires. Oh, there's a bit of contact. Oh, there's two cars hit. So there was a right. bit of contact lower down the pack. Let's try and see who's that wall. On your right. Hold your line. You're right. I think that was some sort of more contact than that right. corner. There's a two drivers there. Head um, some sort who are following at the moment. Hold your line. Cold tyres on these powerful tyres, clearly a very tricky mix for the guys to handle. He's still there. He's still there. Right side's clear. So fourth place is Yusuf. He is side by side. Oh, there's contact there, the driver behind. He's still there. to keep control. Yusuf is heavy in the end to the he's crash by his air. It's a big shame for Yusuf. Damage is set pretty low tonight, so hopefully he'll be able to get uh, back on track. Clear More left. contact Clear further left. down the field. Clearly up in the lead is the safe place to be at the moment. That's Jeffrey Tassanoi and uh, Chan Roussel. First and second they are at the moment. They've got a reasonable gap back to third place. Matej Lakota. We are currently watching 11th place Peter Marco. He's having a battle with Nicholas Abinho and Martin Faber. We're going to switch to uh, Eugene, Eugene Abloff. Third place at the moment. See the guys, this is four, four GTs. Going two by two the round the bank corner there, contact right. with the number no. nine right. in the back oh, corner, no. and the number 14. Oh, that's good. Right. good. Is there a crash on the banking? No, yes. man. Yeah, yeah okay, there are three in front of front the bank. Okay, I tried to take that flat out. That did not work <laughs> one bit. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. That was tight. No. Right side's clear. So, uh, what's the ruling on restart, sir? You're right, the car ahead's pitting. The ruling is... Don't Fair crash. Oh, someone really broke his car somehow. <laughs> I crashed into someone with 300. I think I've got a puncture or something. We lost Jim. Maybe he muted him. Yeah, and the excitement of the crashing is quick.
quit. <laughs> Maybe we all crashed and took him out. No, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm just getting my keys mixed up, but uh, I'm still here. The stream didn't get muted. Okay, you guys, uh, uh, I muted myself to you guys on the team speak. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, I was commentating away there, getting quite a lot of the action. There's a lot of contact uh, on the early laps as the guys uh, struggled with cold brakes and cold tires. Currently riding with Flavio Bosca, he's in seventh place. The leader, Jeff Tassanoi, Jeff Roy Tassanoi, rather, he has managed to pull out about a three second lead. And uh, we're going to switch to fourth place, so that's Giuseppe. Giuseppe has had two uh, occasions where he's run wide, I think, on the same corner, the first corner. It is fighting his way up, up, back up through the field. He's into fourth place at the moment, having just made his way past Pull up. Eugene, I think. Two times wide in the first corner. <laughs> two laps, two times <laughs> wide, wide on the first see if corner. Can, and uh, can beat my record now. Good say. I've got Matej Lakota. He's just behind Giuseppe. He took the advantage of the slipstream down that straight there. The lower line on the bank, though, is a slower line around the corner. You can see that even with the, uh, the run that he had on Giuseppe, that by the time they've exited the corner, Matej has lost a good half a second in uh, time and momentum around that bank corner. The high line is the fast line, but obviously, if you want to overtake, you've got to try and find a different way. Let's take a, a look at the leader then, Jeff Roy. He's given him too much screen time. He's been out safe in the lead. He's managed to avoid a lot of the uh, early incidents as he puts the car sideways, a four-wheel drift there. Very uh, nicely controlled. He's got about a three-second lead over Chandu Thurl in second place. Then Giuseppe, he's not had the best of starts, but third place is not too bad for him at the moment. He's trying to fight his way back up to that leading pair. He just crashed and lost three places. Oh, did he? Giuseppe, okay, yeah. my screen has yeah, not just updated Just to make for fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, more of a glitch here, but more of a challenge. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. You'll have that kind of caution. Ah, uh, there we go, the screen's now updated. Yeah, Giuseppe is now down to sixth place, a little bit of lag there on the overlay. Oh, Giuseppe is not your race, keep it out of that. <laughs> yes, sir, if it runs very wide on that corner. Car left. Enzo Fazzi in the fifth place, he is in. The orange and blue GT40 there. He is uh, just no half a second behind the deep blue the as the orange highlighted car of Eugene Abramov in fourth at the moment. I started oh, what is this? Class. I've just pitted to repair some damage and it's not repaired it. And I'm afraid my suspension is broken beyond it's belief and it's like still not it fixed. We're switching to Daniel Trapp, who's having a good midfield battle. He's in the 15th place at the moment. Aki Bjorkston is uh, a little way behind at 0.8 of a second. I think Daniel's just made his way past uh, Aki, I think. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, past Mr. Karkin. Oh, Mr. Karkin, thank you very much. Just my overlay is a little bit laggy, so uh, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, clear uh, left. Daniel. Switch to uh, Eugene and Enzo, who are side by side around that bank corner. They exit it very quickly indeed. They've got, I think that's, um, I'm guessing that's, uh, yes, it is uh, Giuseppe in fourth place. The gap behind is now. Enzo Fazzi there, battling side by side.
Oh, oh, oh. Is that you? That was no, it was me. You gonna forget? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. I really didn't see you. No problem. Fortunately, I spun in the right direction. Jim's muted himself again. Yes. <laughs> I have. Thank you. Myself. Um, yes, um, Eugene Tate tried to have a look at that lower line on the Giuseppe around the back corner, but he didn't quite uh, decide to go for it. Probably a wise move that would have lost a lot of speed, I think, had they gone too wide through that corner. Seba, how are you still so quick with all the, the all those hits, like arrow damage and shit? I had one little tap to the wall and I'm five kilometers down. I don't know, maybe I hit luckily. <laughs> yeah. You hit the black hole as well. Oh, the black hole. The black hole on your gene. Magic black hole if they repair your car. <laughs> Jim, yeah, I've just been back and so I went quiet and I was just trying to work why I got quite back and so again. I do apologise you, it's not quite as uh, the professional as I usually am on the automobilist machines. I am an aesthetic course of Virgin and all the uh, all the um, key uh, combinations for the camera views are proving a little bit difficult for me to get used to. And I had uh, the same, my mic mute, mute key was bound to one of the camera change keys, but I think the second attempt we've managed to get that sorted. And we've had quite a few followers there. Again, I can only see the most recent one, but El Mico is the most recent one. Any drivers, if you want to fancy a cheer, if you're not going around the corner, you have a cheer for El Mico. Hey! Yeah! Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, I guess only one of you not on the corner, uh, but there's a few more not on the corner. <laughs> okay. um, so let's try and get this, uh, this show a little bit smoother now that I've got those keys bright and I'm not muting myself all the time. Let's take a look now at the battle once again between Enzo uh, Fazi and that is Eugene Abamov side by side for a long time around that corner but Eugene has uh, pulled in behind he's going to get the slipstream as they run that down that straight pulls out he's going to have the inside line on Enzo Fazi as they enter the bank okay, the corner yeah, inside is definitely the slower right. line to the outside can he complete the yeah, we'll take before they get in, yes he does, so Enzo, uh, Eugene Haberoff takes fourth place off Enzo Fazzi, but as you can see Enzo Fazzi is in very close behind, taking the slightly higher line, switch the rear wing of Eugene, the car's bouncing around that corner, they make it through in one piece, and now Enzo Fazzi is going to try and take that place back off Eugene, can he do it under... No, oh, sorry, not on the brakes in the corner. I thought it was a braking zone. But no, no braking corner, so... Uh, uh, so <laughs> you that's just straight. Ah, oh, OK, OK. That's still that play there for you, Eugene. To your left. Indeed, it looks like it might be working. He slingshots his way out of that corner. On your left. Clear left. And switch to the rear wing of Enzo as we see Eugene going round the side of the car and takes that uh, place. From once again, Eugene up to fourth. And they come to the only corners on the circuit where the drivers need to be using the brakes. Okay, Dan, don't let this guy distract you. Ten minutes if you're remaining, that's ten minutes. Both cars wagging a little bit, but it looks like Eugene's got the power down earlier, but fairly close to that barrier. This has meant Enzo's got a better exit of the corner. Currently, this is the closest battle out on track. You've just done a 232.2. That's your quickest Side by side. Two are fast. Oh, I've got a lot of time. Edward, your car is way crazy. 
Yeah, I've got a lot oh, of damage. Oh, the smoke ahead as the guys come through that corner. Not sure which driver that was, but somebody just for covering their car. Was that you, Edward, just... Um, yep. On the, yep, Edward just for trying oh, to bring his car back recovered. on track. Enzo Fazzi has an eight-second uh, gap if he wants to try and make his way up to third place. Giuseppe, uh, uh, currently he's battling almost turn by turn with the huge machine out of off. This is a battle for fourth and fifth place once again. Then takes the back corner, nose to tail. Eugene will be looking for the slingshot as they exit this corner. Out of the slipstream, has he got the momentum to come past? I don't think he has. But Enzo holds one, two, fourth place. Is that probably tactical play once again from Eugene? I think holding back for the second uh, banked corner. Left side. We have only four and a half minutes left of this race now. Left side. Now this is turning into a three-way performance where Enzo Fazzi is for Eugene Abramov in fifth and Yusuf is in sixth place, although the screen order has all just changed, I'm not sure who's going to come out on top. I think Yusuf, yes Yusuf has taken fourth place. Whilst Eugene and Enzo oh, are battling hard. Um, watch out second back, uh, I've just pitted and then had an enormous accident. He had fourth place, but he nearly, very nearly outbroke himself into that corner. Only just managed to wipe the speed off the car. This has allowed the Enzo to really start pressuring Yusuf. And Eugene has lost a little bit of time there. He's uh, the gap's opened up to about a second with Enzo and Yusuf. Was, uh, Sorry, Enzo and Eugene, rather. Stay on it, where this isn't over yet. Yusuf has Enzo Fazzi all over them. It's for GT40. Very close there, they turn in. Just lifting ever so slightly to get that car around that corner. And the sixth car of Yusuf. With Enzo Fazzi in the nine car of GT40 just behind. As we see, that is, um, I think, Eugene. Yes, Eugene has uh, made a mistake there. He's off to the gravel track. He's back on track. He's still in sixth place. Okay, okay, uh, no, he's in seventh now. Victor Marco has taken the sixth place off him. The mistake from Eugene loses a place and a big chunk of time. If we see one of the uh, drivers in the pit, um, it's Yusuf again. But Yusuf is in the pit. Right side. Still there. Right side's clear. I'm going to keep, keep wind on, on. on. Yusuf can try to see when he comes out on track. There he is. We've got him on the track. So Yusuf in the pit is quite a long. Pit stop for Yusuf. Time for pit stop. The gap in front is increased to this lot. Indeed, the pit stop is one of the first drivers to pit. But Edward Rocket in the pits as well. I think he was trying to get some damage repaired in his car. Ah, oh, no, no, I've retired from the race. Okay, but well, thank you. What lap is it? And Yusuf is lap seven. back out of the track. A long stop there. Yusuf is on that team speak. Yusuf, if you are, you can hear me. Uh, let me know, did you have any damage that you repaired as well, or was that just tyres and fuel? I can't see you actually on team speak. Certainly seemed like a long stop there for Yusuf. He was doing very well up to fourth or batting for fourth place oh, with yeah, Enzo the fuel, Fuzzy. The fueling uh, takes a lot of time, I think. Ah, okay, slow, long time for the fuel to get in. They are big tanks, these V8s really do trick that, uh, that fuel. Yeah, and they're all systems as well. There's no, it's not... No, yeah, just, have no, to, yeah. just pour it in, basically. <laughs> Hold a can up and yeah. it run out. <laughs> yeah, we're it's like in the million PSI. Yeah. We're going to switch to Peter Marco. He is just 1.7 seconds behind Enzo Fazi. Now, Enzo, we were watching for quite some time. He was battling with Eugene 
and uh, I say Yusuf got involved in that battle just before his pit stop. So Yusuf is one of the first drivers to pit. Wow. Be interesting to see as the other drivers come round whether the uh, after the uh, the pit stop order mixing up where Yusuf ends up. Was, I say battling for fourth, so we'll give it another few laps and see what happens as that all plays out. We have another follower, Sam J, 60 UK, followed as a fast Thank you very much for following. We have loads of followers tonight. Clearly, a set of course are proving quite popular. And this is our highest ever view account that I've certainly witnessed. 277 million viewers in total split between YouTube and Twitch. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. 14th place, Daniel Trapp. He's having a great battle with Akim. Demos Akim was a very late join to the server. He saw there was a space on the server. He didn't get the qualified lap. So he's fought his way up to last on the grid. Akim is now up to 12th place at the moment. And I'm hoping we haven't just given him commentator curse because he's outbroke himself there. The commentator curse possibly for Akim. I think that was Akim anyway. Down to 14th place, was in 12th. And Eugene, I'm going to stick with Eugene. Eugene's in the pits. He was battling with uh, Enzo Fazi and for Yusuf Masid for fourth place. I'm interested to see where he comes out on track, um, in particular in relation to Yusuf. So Eugene now down to 11th. I'm playing a risky game. I got exactly one level few remaining, and I just went, by, went past the pits. Okay, Daniel, so Daniel Trapp there letting us know that he is going to be running on vapors by the time we get to the end of this lap. A very uh, risky choice pushing the car one more lap. Might have to do a little bit of fuel save and try and get some of these slipstream, Daniel, and uh, save that fuel. Um, or you might need pushing around into the pits. Um, but catching up, yes, we were watching, or well, we are watching Eugene. Uh, Yusuf Masit was uh, battling earlier on, but I say for that fourth place, the pit stops are starting to play out of Yusuf. The early stop slide for Yusuf okay, may now, have helped him lose a left place compared to Eugene, who he was battling with, and uh, Eugene is now in 12th just behind. Enzo Fazzi, we're going to be keeping an eye on him. He's in fourth place. He was all part of that fourth place battle between those three drivers when he makes that pit stop. It'll be interesting to see if Enzo it switch to Enzo now. Hit, hit. with Enzo Fazzi. He goes down for one more lap. No pit stop for Enzo this time. He's just 0.3 of a second behind Peter Marco. Peter up into fourth place. Giuseppe Iara is in the pits. Actually, funny thing there. has just happened to me. I had a disconnect during my pit stop and I think I managed to gain the place Okay. It was refueling and it took much longer for the refueling than for the reconnecting. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so um, you save time back. by disconnecting. That's not bad. <laughs> That's a, a good move to buy. Oh, no, wait, no, never mind. I just lost that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, but Enzo Fuzzy is back out. He's in fourth place. And so Enzo Fuzzy back out. But Tej is in fifth. I think we'll have to wait to see if. Uh, Okay, so Giuseppe, Giuseppe, Enzo Fazzi in fourth. Is Enzo Fazzi will follow him now? I think one of the last, one of the last drivers, but certainly he hasn't pitted yet, and he was in a very close battle for fourth place. Not making the apex there. The car in front drifts wide. Hopefully, he doesn't collect him as he comes back across the track. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, that was very close there for Enzo Fazzi. A spinning car. Not quite sure who that is, but certainly uh, a scary moment there. He's got Peter Marco close behind as Enzo. Let's switch to that rear wing of Enzo. We've involved in several battles regularly for fourth place, a popular spot fourth place seems to be at the moment. Enzo's in third at the moment, but Peter Marco in fourth is trying to steal that from him. Delete 
I never saw uh, so many skits in the uh, in the banquet corners. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched him. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Um, no, no, no! Had an off-track moment. He's in second place. Pit stops are definitely starting to play out now as Jeff Roy Tassinoy is in the pitch. That's the uh, residing in second place. He's got a good 30 seconds over Enzo Fazzi. He's currently in third. We'll stick with Enzo this time and see if we see oh, Jeff Roy pop out of the pits in front of him. 20 seconds now to go. I think. Completely wrong information by him, overlay the team, actually, that's why he's uh, out on track. If I'm correct, uh, it's Can, uh, Can Yusel in the lead, Enzo in second, Peter Marco in third, and Joffrey in fourth. That's correct, it showed Jeff Roy in the pits, I believe, a month ago, but, um, but uh, when I went to switch to him, he was definitely not in the pits, um, so I'm not sure quite what happened there. But uh, yeah, Chad Yussel in and the lead. Thank you to Bias for the, for the assistance there. Enzo Fazzi oh, in the second place. Nine, Peter Marco with the Jeff Roy Tassel, who we are following in the yellow car nine, in the fourth place. Uh, Trying to spot the close battles. Looks like 15th place. Mr. L. Karkinen is quite close to Chris Hone in the 14th. Let's take a look at those two. <coughs> and just as we do so, we catch Mr. Garden going wide. He's just about managed to keep that car from having too heavy an impact into the barriers. And of course, the left side has lost a little bit of time there. Switch back to Jeff Roy Tassinoy, fourth place Jeff Roy, just 1.1 seconds behind, third place Peter Marco. A lift into that corner, just touching the dirt, Jeff Roy, but manages to keep it all pointing in the right direction. Jeffrey making up a lot of time in the breaking over that corner. Peter Marco may be out breaking himself ever so slightly in contact there with the, uh, the hay bales in the centre, splitting the two lanes, giving it a great run for Jeffrey. Peter. You put it away. The gap behind us now, 14.2. Peter Marco now uh, losing that place to Jeffrey Tonoy. He gets the slipstream back. So it looks like swapping over positions almost corner by corner. Jeff will taking the higher line. He's going to drop down low as they come past another driver there. I'm not sure if that is a lap driver or not. The number five Porsche. It's me. I'm left. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a bias. Yeah, yeah. So they were three wide as they came down off banking there. Then all oh, two wide into that one. Then. I think Jeff Roy's guess is going to take third place off Peter Marco for the moment at least. Which now to the rear wing of Jeffrey, Jeffrey rather. And Marco very, very close behind. This is the closest back along track at now, just 0.3 of a second separating these two drivers. We have 11 minutes left on the clock. Jeffrey got, 
Jeffroy got, yes indeed, in 11, Jeffroy got the power down very well from that corner and managed to open up over a second gap over Peter Marco. Coming a lot of speed, but certainly uh, taking uh, risks by running over the dirt in the exit of that corner. Well, he doesn't make the apex, would this be an opportunity for Peter Marco to gain? He goes into that for time lost. I think no one saw me drifting through color bowling now. Is it a classic drift, Ben? Yeah. Oh, Daniel, sorry. Daniel. We'll switch to the lead. We haven't given Chan the third uh, time at all, but Chan is in the lead. He's got 20 seconds, give or take, over Enzo Fazzi in second place. Enzo's got to keep the part of his rear mirrors, though, because Jeffroy Tassanoi in third. Just well, I still have second behind him. Jeffrey doesn't. Oh, Chan, you. Is that Chan that you still got a pit, or is that Enzo thing? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Well, he as well, like both of us. Enzo, uh, both of you still got a pit, okay. Oh, oh, right. Thank you very much for that information, there, guys. So, Jeffrey has yet, uh, uh, sorry, Jeffrey has pitted, but Chan and Enzo are yet to pit. Just nine minutes on the clock. Those uh, elite pair must have come out with a very full tank of fuel. Are they going to be able to make it to the end? I don't think so with the way the fuel usage has been set up on the server tonight. They're going to have to pit at some point. Whilst things are fairly well spread out, there's no particular battle going on. Let's take a lap with the Chan at Ucell. The gap behind is now 9.4. Comfortable lead for him at the moment, but he, he, we believe he is yet to pit. 26 seconds give or take on the clock for him. 12 laps done. We're looking like 16, maybe 17 laps, I think, tonight, something along those lines. Jeffroy Tassanoi is now just point seven of a second behind Enzo Fazzi. He must be looking for that slipstream when they come round to the banked corners. Oh, correct the little drift there of the car. He's got that slipstream as they start to race down this straight. The gap is closing. Side by side, Enzo on the higher line. I think he's going to have the higher oh, exit speed as they come around the corner. Jeff Roy on the inside line. You can see now by the time they get to the end of the corner, he has lost that momentum, has to tuck in behind the, the uh, GT40 of Enzo Fazzi. But Enzo holds on to second place. And Jeff Roy in third. That was the camera angle I was looking for, off the rear wing now, off Enzo. Trying to keep an eye on whether Chan Chell goes into the pits or not. He's staying out for another lap, just seven minutes on the clock, certainly pushing that fuel tank as far as he can take it. Now 16th place, Flavio. He's having a battle with Karkin and the last lap was at 231.8. Flavio has made that overtake. Yes, he has. Flavio is now up into 15th place. Switch back to battle for third, or for the second rather, that's Enzo Fazzi in second. Yes, with Tassanoi in third. Thanks, Martin. Once again, off the rear wing, off Enzo. Can Jeffroy get close enough to start picking up the slipstream? A 
lifting left that corner. Geoffroy getting them much more line, carrying a lot more speed. Two wheels on the grass there, but you can see the momentum, the additional momentum that he was carrying through the corner to go side by side down the straight towards the braking zone. Can they keep it side by side around the corner? No care for you. How has managed to keep hold of the place, but Enzo's got the inside line, so the over and under as Enzo comes back through on the inside. Past the pit lane. Enzo now in third, Jeff Roy in the orange car. Taking the high line, ties he dead to take him around the back corner, more momentum there. And this is now at the rear wing of Jeff Roy's car, looking at the GT with the lights on of Enzo. Just point one of a second separate them. Enzo backing off, flashing the lights there, making okay, sure no, that Jeff Roy knows he's there. Backing out of the Enzo move, he wants to be in that slipstream as they come off the second banked corner. All in a little bit of contact, a little bit of webbing. Jeff Roy doing very, very well to keep control of that car. They're side by side now. Enzo slingshotting his way out of that corner and uh, almost ending up in an uh, incident into the hay bale in the middle of the circuit there. They're side by side into the braking zone. Jeffrey's got the inside live. Oh my god, that Enzo was only just able to keep his car from going on to the grass there. Had he put two wheels on the grass there, I think that could have been him into the barriers. Fortunately, he kept the car completely on the black stuff and he gets his uh, second place back off Jeff Roy Tassanoi. This is almost a corner by corner race where these guys are overtaking and changing position almost every single corner. We saw Enzo there getting a big drift on under Metal. braking. He kept it under control. Just three and minutes 45 seconds on the clock now. Thank you very much, Joseph. Two laps, they uh, we reckon, for the end of the race. That could well mean five, six, maybe even more overtake between these two guys. The fight for second and third. And we thought, or our belief was that Chang Chel had not pitted yet. But he's still out there. He's still eking out the fuel in his tank. He's still out in the lead. Keep an eye if he goes in. But that's 23 second gap. And second and third battling. If Chan can get that car to go the full distance, it would be a very a nice achievement. Maybe he's been fuel saving. I don't saving. know if uh, saving fuel he will be able to complete without pitting. Yeah, interesting. Must, maybe he has pitted. Maybe we uh, we didn't uh, we didn't catch it. But if he uh, if, if he has pitted, that's a very. I haven't pitted it. I haven't done it. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. So it's going to be very close indeed then. Now Enzo just dropping back a little bit from the back of Jeff Roy Tassiway's car. Can Jeff Roy get a bit of space, a little bit of breathing room, put together a few consistent push corners this position. and hopefully extend that gap. Enzo losing out okay, the advantage of the switching around these right corners. You can see how that gap so uh, really opened up now whilst we ride from the rear wing of Jeff Roy's car. Tej Lakotzana is in the pits, he's in fifth place. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Yeah, people, somebody's asking on the chat saying they want to see some crashes. Plenty of, uh, right. plenty of exchange right. paintwork at the start of the race for us, the guy battled for these these heavy GT car the car, the powerful cars, cold tyres and cold brakes. They didn't want to slow down, they didn't want to stick to that tarmac. Now they've settled a little bit more into a rhythm. Enzo Fazzi is trying to get that going now, to close that one half the gap between him and second place Chef Roy Tassanoi. There's a few late pits now going on. Peter Marco is in the pits. Nicholas Topinho is in the pits as well, back in 22nd place. 
just over one minute left on the clock now. Oh, runs wide for Jeffrey. This could be critical for Enzo. They both went oh, wide and they pushed over here. So those that fail, like sheep, they followed Ooh. each other off the track there. Both managed to keep out of the cast barrier, crash barrier rather. It looked like it was going to be very close for Jeff Boy, but he both managed to keep it all together and all under control. Those tyres will be a little bit dirty from the pickup there as he went off the circuit. I think he's still just redefined the sim sheep effect. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The sim that sheep effect. <laughs> it's not whether you sign up or not, whether you just follow each other off the circuit. <laughs> the same <laughs> And there, I've done that many a time where you think, yes, I'm gaining, uh, no, you're not gaining, you're just following the guy in front off the track. Right. Yes, because we, fair, we follow our fellow sim racer. That's it, that's it. Now, Enzo, you pitted, is that correct, Enzo? You're in the pits now? Yes, no. you are. So Enzo said he had pitted, he was very close to doing a full race. He's got really, well, the clock is literally counted down to zero now, one second and zero now, so... Oh, it's going to end. Oh, end the, any moment longer, he would have made it all the way to the end. Sorry, Enzo. I forgot that the finish was on the other side. I thought it was like another lap from there. Ah, oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I've almost used two full tanks in the portion. You know, yeah. Now, unfortunately, because of this class is zero, it's where does this happen, but a set of Enzo, Corsa Enzo gave has me a gift Thanks, pushed Enzo. me back to the uh, main screen, so I can't now see the driver's name, but see if we can find the leader, Chan. There he is. Please catch Just the leader going across okay, the line. Well done, mate. Jim oh, Chan is in the pits, I think. Yeah. Got me to go back out on the track. It won't let me. What the, I don't understand. No, is Chad in the pits? Can anybody tell me? Or has he finished his race? Chad's certainly in the pits, I think, at the moment. I think that you sell... Ouch. Oh, thanks, Enzo. Uh, this is uh, uh. A less than a great camera work within the race, but unfortunately, it's the first race that I have done, and it appears that because I'm already in the pits, as soon as the clock reached zero, it has dumped me back out to the main screen, meaning all my overlays no longer work. So it's really hard to see where the guys are out on track. It 